What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's your man Just Jay Sama and I'm back with another video that nobody asked for. Um, so we're not doing a live a live reaction today, obviously. We're not talking about anime today, obviously. Um, so, <laughs> well, Jay, what? why are you making a video if it's not the thing that people are gonna watch? Well, uh, today I actually wanted to talk a little bit about um, one of my personal favorite games, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I, now, I know <laughs> just that combination of fucking, wow, is that what the camera looks like? I didn't want to have to edit this episode. You know what, whatever. It's, we're not editing. I, I don't even want to fucking do it. <laughs> anyway, we're talking about Cyberpunk 2077 today. Um, I came across this article that was written recently um, on VG247 uh, News. So they do like video game news and stuff like that. Um, basically, it was talking about Gabe Newell, who uh, basically is one of the co-founders of, well, I guess like the head honcho of Steam. And... Um, that's like the quickest way I can explain it. I'm sure like that's blasphemy to talk about Gabe Newell like that. But anyway, uh, he was talking about uh, in this interview. Let's see, who was he talking to? He was speaking to New, New Zealand publication TV nz.com which uh i didn't bother to do any research on that so i mean you know it is what it is and he was basically kind of uh talking about how good he thinks cyberpunk 2077 actually is um he was saying there's a lot of components within there that are amazing and they're brilliant um i i am reluctant to agree uh i say this because i just finished my playthrough of 120 hours uh yes on a 22 hour game i spent 122 100 and how many hours did i spend i think it was 124 hours and like 40 some odd minutes uh to finish my first playthrough of the game and uh that's just how i play rpgs um, if you're a completionist like myself, you guys, uh, you go around and you have to finish every single mission. You have to talk to every single NPC and every character that's available. Uh, you have to like do every single side quest, do every gig, get every single upgrade. Like that is my style of how I play games, um, especially RPGs. So that's why it takes me so long. And like, because this game has differenting, uh, like differential, uh, paths and stuff like that that lead to multiple endings of the game uh, I was like yo I would be really doing myself a disservice if I didn't go and explore the rest of this game so uh, without spoiling too much of the end of the game because I'm sure somebody's gonna want to play that game um, it's uh, the few endings I got by re by playing the first time then restarting it and going back to the checkpoint and then going to the end of the game and then doing that three times and choosing the three different paths that I had, uh, I, uh, eh, the ending was all right. I mean, the build up to the game, honestly, like was extremely overhyped, obviously. Uh, but the actual game itself, I feel like there's a lot of stuff in here that is just absolutely amazing. Like there's a lot of stuff in this game that really could have just been over the top amazing a real like game changer for the entire gaming industry for every rpg going forward um but this really just felt felt like playing a bethesda game um <laughs> because it was fucking busted now um i wasn't playing on pc unfortunately um i thought i was gonna have hardware issues but it turns out uh playing on console actually was the thing that actually screwed me over this time um I don't know, man. Uh, as I as I play through this entire game, it's kind of one of those things where I, I'm starting to feel like games are too long. Like, really, like, honestly, like, there was a lot more uh, interesting stuff in the side quests, and those side quests took a lot longer than some of the main missions in the game, which you would think, like, like, wow, like, side quests being better than the main story? Yes, actually, now that I think about it, CD Projekt Red, they've done that a lot. Like, in The Witcher 3, uh, which I deem one of the greatest games of all time, easily, just because the level of, like, small details and everything is, like, intricate and in placed somewhere for a specific reason, all the lore and the literature and the characters and all the backstories and all the other shit, like, it's, it's easily top, like, my favorite top five games of all time like easily um it does have that amount of detail in it but the thing about the witcher 3 that 
really like sets it separately from cyberpunk is the fact that the main story is actually very interesting the main characters are actually very interesting so you want to kind of gravitate along with them um the best character in the in cyberpunk actually just gets killed at the beginning of the game and it's it's really 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 like it's a bummer for the rest of the fucking game like he's the one like like this specific character actually there's a couple of characters that like if you play it a certain way, they go out super early, and you're kind of like, uh, I don't know about this. And then next thing you know, you're spending, what, 20, 30 more hours talking to Johnny Silverhand, and it's just like, it's, it's cool, like, it's an interesting concept. Like, I see a lot of the really intricate stuff they tried to do with, like, the weapons, the customizing, the upgrades, the skill trees, holy shit, the skill trees, um, a lot of that stuff just... It, it, it doesn't feel like it's thrown in there. It feels like it's a very core part of the game. But once you get to a certain point where you're like double jumping or super jumping all over the map and then you have like these smart bullets where you can hide behind like like any piece of cover and just shoot up in the air and then all of a sudden all of the enemies die. Like a lot of that stuff uh, was kind of like broke the game, honestly. Uh, there was never a point in the game where you're just like overall like OP, which I think is, it, it kind of sucks. I mean, maybe there is a point, but I wasn't willing to put that much time into this game. But the whole premise I'm trying to make is that the game is too long while also being too short. It, I know that doesn't make any sense, but I can use another example. Um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the exact opposite. Um, the more I play Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the more I don't like it, uh, only because the storytelling in which it's telling, like, I think on howtobeat.com, it's, um, about 60 hours to complete, like, the main story, but if you want to do, which I think is a lie, I definitely think it's a lie, um, even though they average all of the scores, I think it's a little bit above 60 hours. I say this because if you're somebody like me, you have to play on the hardest difficulty. That's already gonna take you an additional amount of time, especially in an RPG, because you have to be over leveled for everything. So now you're doing si crazy amounts of side quests. I think I may be halfway through the game, maybe not even halfway, I just finished the first like map area. Uh, and I'm already at 87 hours in the game. So I, I'm not really digging it. And even when I played on a easier difficulty and just kind of like breeze through stuff a little bit more, the pacing and the actual storytelling of like giving you, here's a little bit of the story, here's a little bit more. And then you go and talk to another character, here's a little bit more and stuff like that. It's actually feeling like this game is a huge chore to play, but then you go and do side quests and they're, they're like, wow, okay, this is this is great. Like, this is what the story should be. Not saying that the main story of Valhalla is bad. It's just like the elongated parts of like main story compared to side content. So like, as I'm playing through the side content, I wanna play more of it because it's very interesting. It's a lot more interesting than the main story. But then the main story has these huge drawn out parts that are just like, oh my God, it's just, it's a pain and it gives me a headache to play some of this game. And like, I, I've gotten to the point where I think I've, I've played enough of this game. I think I've played enough of this game to make a very good decision of uh, where I should be at. Uh, so I just turned on cheats. And for the past few sessions I've been playing the game, I've just been playing with cheat codes. I've been teleporting all over the map because I hate having to, uh, the fast travel takes forever to load. Also like just the traveling to get there takes a really long fucking time. And it's just unnecessary shit. Then the, uh, the raids, they were really cool for a while. Um, maybe about the first four or five, you know what, I'll round it up to seven. The first seven times, it was like, oh, okay, it's lit. It's actually a lot better now that the cheats are on it <laughs> because there are certain moves that it's you could tell would instantly kill a person. Like if you shove an ax through the middle of somebody's body, you would think that person's going to die. And um, Assassin's Creed has always felt like a series, except for the last three games, uh, it always seems like it was a series that was kind of grounded a little bit in reality as far as like the actual killing goes. Um, and then they supposedly brought back like the hidden blade, like one hit kill thing. Um, it's not really in there. Uh, it's in there, but they're like, oh, you have to do like this meter thing and you have to unlock the skill and like all this other bullshit. And if you're not a strong enough level, then you can't do it. And it's like, bruh, if I'm air assassinating somebody, 
just because I'm not of the proper level, like this is this, I'm jumping from the second floor. This person is going to die. Like it just doesn't, and it'd be like people getting stabbed and then they just brush you off. And it's like, what the, what is this? So I'm not, I'm not really happy with with Valhalla, if you can't tell. So it's it's giving me the exact opposite vibes of Cyberpunk 2077, which is interesting because as many people talk trash about Cyberpunk, it's still a good game. It's literally like just a golden nugget, but it's covered in dog shit. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 really really good at its core. Like it does a lot of really good things that I think are super innovative in the RPG space, but man is it covered in shit and it's hard to to play i don't think there's been a single session where i've played cyberpunk and i didn't have some type of like weird crash or didn't have some type of weird uh bugs or glitches or issues it's literally just like skipping or like the game will go into the fucking speed force all of a sudden and like my character will be zipping all over the place and it's like then there's uh one character will see me slightly but then all of a sudden it'll just it'll dissipate and i'm thinking oh okay i'm cool and then i'll turn around and go do something not a single person in sight hey what was that and then like everybody in the fucking level knows where i am and it's like uh okay so the ai is really bad but either way i i i think uh both Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Cyberpunk 2077 are just way too too long like I, I me as an adult which this is the whole premise of this video now um <laughs> this this way went way out of control um I am someone who I can't there's a lot of things I can devote my time to and a hundred hours for a game that I'm not really enjoying is already a no-no. A um, hundred hours for a game is already kind of like, nah, dog, I can't, I can't do that. Like, that's a lot of commitment, especially when there's multiple games coming out, I, which is why I really hate the season in between um, August to December. Like, right around there, when all the games start coming out all at one time, God forbid an RPG game comes out, oh my lord. Uh, it's it's just really, really hard to deal with. And this was that scenario. Um, I also had to make a choice, and this is, this is just me personally. I had to make a choice between Valhalla, Cyberpunk, and Watch Dogs Legion. And guess what lost? Watch Dogs Legion, which... The game sucks. <laughs> like, like, that's a whole nother video I have to do in itself. But, um, anyway, I just wanted to make a talking piece today. Anybody who owns Cyberpunk 2077, if you guys agree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. What are your thoughts and opinions on it? If you haven't picked up Cyberpunk, are you interested? I want to know your thoughts as well. Let's have a conversation down in the comments. Um, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed just, like, this talking head video. Um, and then my new blue LEDs. Um... <laughs> because <laughs> i'm fuck i'm a fucking nine-year-old on tiktok i guess um but yeah let me know you guys' thoughts opinions everything uh make sure to give today's video a like if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you guys are new um also i'm live streaming on twitch.tv slash just sama every monday tuesday and thursday um you can also join in my discord you guys can follow me on all of my social media so you know when i'm uploading downloading left loading uh that might be a little personal so we're not doing that one um <laughs> <laughs> uh god that joke sucks um so uh yeah just follow me on all of my socials man uh and then we'll be playing um what are we playing this week uh we need to go back to playing persona but uh, i don't know about that we'll probably be playing final fantasy this week i don't know we'll decide um uh, but come through the stream you guys will find out um anyway this has been your man just jay sama i'll see you guys on the next one make sure to keep it canon i promise we'll have an attack on titan video out pretty soon I don't know when, but pretty soon.